This is a quick video on the Acer Spin 5. They make a couple different Spin 5s. This particular one is the SP515 and it actually has the 15.6 which I believe is the largest screen that they have available in the Acer Spin models. And it's a convertible or what's known as a you know kind of a three-in-one. It's a tablet and a laptop all in one. The reason I'm doing a video versus just pictures in the description is because there is something that you need to see. And that is, let me see if I can get in here. If you look very carefully, you can see little cracks. There's hairline cracks. And this is, if you can hear this, that's glass. So unlike most laptops that have kind of a softer plastic screen, this is actually a glass covering, probably for the tablet reason, I'm guessing. And that's probably also what made the uh, tablet part work. It does have some hairline cracks coming out through there. And because of those, the touch screen is not working. I don't use touch screen personally, I never have. I've had computers with touch screen, just kind of sits there. I prefer to use, in fact, I'll show you this right now. Go ahead and open this up there we go as you can tell when you when you have one of these mice you just basically slide to get the angle or get all of it in slide your fingers up and down by sliding your fingers up and down you get the exact same effect as a screen in fact on this really large mouse you can do everything on here it basically acts as your screen it's basically a mimic of your screen so you can actually draw on it you can sign signatures on it uh, you'd have to, you know, get a finer pen if you'd want, rather than just using your finger, finger for signatures. But you can scroll up and down just like, well, normal. So, uh, the reason I have this open is because that is your description of it. It's a Spin SP515 5GN. And the processor is an i5-8250U. Now, this motherboard... When I got it, it had the crack screen, and it also had a motherboard that was acting up. So I wanted something more powerful. Acer makes a product that actually uses this exact same configuration, but it's a gaming computer, and it's called the Nitro. So this motherboard I purchased new, and it was for a Nitro, because I need something that I wanted something more powerful with the best possible graphics processor. Since I do do pictures from time to time, memes, nothing fancy, but uh, in the past I've done some family videos and trying to compile those on a computer that doesn't have a high-end GPU takes forever. I mean, we're talking days if it's a nice long family video. So with a good GPU, you can actually not only play games, but you can fly through you, a nice half hour long video you can actually have done in a half hour. Normally a half hour video is going to take you at least a day to compile if you do not have a high-end computer with a high-end GPU. So that is the main reason I got something so powerful. It has, as you can tell, it has Windows 10. And you can also, as I'm zooming in, you can see some of those cracks a little bit easier. So you, they're very, they're not really noticeable unless you look for them. And it depends the type of background you have. So I'm also going to, this is, this is what makes this computer so powerful and so expensive. This computer is like $1,800 new. And see this right here? It's the NVIDIA Geoforce GTX 1050. The NVIDIA, NVIDIA is the top of the line, especially their Geoforce GTX. That is their gaming, that is their top of the line gaming GPU. So that is the most powerful graphics processor you can get. It's what all the top-end movie houses have, or movie studios, and it's what all the gamers use. So that's what makes it so expensive, that's what makes it so powerful, and that's what makes it run so fast. So I believe that's it. Now I'm going to set this camera up on a stand so you can actually, so I can have two hands and show you how the convertible works.